Hey guys, it's Dan. Um, I wanted to give a quick video to show you uh, basically an introduction into the FCS Networker, go over what you're going to be seeing in the folders and just give you uh, an idea of what's actually going on. So when you open up the folder, you're going to see uh, a categories folder, files, pictures, project accounts, projects, unique articles, uh, plus some other files here. Basically, I tried to make this bot as uh, easy to use as possible. So most of the files dealing with the bot are just text files, which means they're very easy to manipulate for those more advanced users that just want to go in and manipulate the files themselves. So um, a project is created uh, when you create a set of accounts. Um, in the account creator, there's going to be a uh, little text box asking for the project name. So what that does is it creates a set of project accounts. And these uh, project accounts will have the name and there'll be a list of all those accounts that were made with the account creator for that specific project. So basically what these projects are is just... Um, a set of accounts per that email address that you use since you can't use the same email address twice. Um, so that's the backbone of organization of the bot is starting out with your set of projects. So um, for example, let's say you wanted to build uh, sites in the health niche. You might want to name uh, project one with the first email account health one and then uh, you know, health too for your next set of accounts and so on. That way you keep some organization. The next folder we'll look at is categories. Um, you'll see in this project updater manager node you can create categories and basically what that does is it easily lets you combine uh, different sites from different projects or full projects and uh, just make uh, one big niche category of the um, web 2.0s you want in that category. So I'll go more over that when we go over the uh, profile updater manager but basically the accounts are set up the, in the same way so you can add the sites in here uh, if you're a more advanced user you could just uh, make them through the text files you could just you know let's say your yeah, project accounts you can just grab a bunch of these accounts and then paste them to the bottom of here and then you know copy all those I'm not gonna save it and then uh, you know create a new category um, test category and then save those and that would be uh, you know say that was your big set of health sites you wanted all your health sites in one category so you could uh, easily post to that category um, you could do it that way the profile updater manager node though is what um, is how you can do it through the bot and I'll show you that later but I just wanted to start giving everybody a feel of what these files and folders mean um, the files folder here is just the system files and whatnot. You don't need to ever manipulate anything in there. Um, the pictures folder is once again for the uh, profile updater manager. When you are updating uh, your profiles to add the themes and add pictures, basically you just throw a bunch of pictures that you want randomly chosen in this folder and uh, the bot uh, when it's updating will randomly choose uh, which pictures um, it's going to update to the profile through this folder. The same goes for the unique articles. Uh, you just put unique articles, the article title should be the name of the article and then um, if you choose to submit unique articles the bot is just going to grab whatever unique articles are in this folder and post those. Um, and then the final thing I want to show you is projects. Um, this is different than project accounts. This just saves your project data from the account creator. So when you're creating accounts, if you uh, 
you know, maybe let's say three accounts just don't create and you need to wait to the next update or something, um, you could save your account data and then you could easily just load it back in, create those last three accounts and uh, you're all set. All of this stuff I'll go into more detail. Um, with the specific uh, nodes and their uses, but I just want to give a brief overview so people don't look at the folder and get incredibly confused. So now let's take a look at the bot. As of now, we've got the account creator, profile updater, slash manager, submitter. We're going to have the uh, Twitter net, which is going to be a Twitter network that's not quite ready yet, and uh, the FCS guest post network, which should be going live very soon. And then you have your account settings. Um, let's click on the account settings here. Oh, by the way, all of this pretty much you can access from the uh, tools menu. Um, so you could do it that way as well. But uh, the account settings right here, this is what's going to store your, uh, see I already have mine in there, the best spinner login details. Uh, you only have to enter it once. It's also going to store your FCS guest post network login details once we uh, get that up and running. And uh, it's the place to add your proxies if you're going to be using proxies. Um, this saves all the information. You don't need to add it in every time. Um, and you can easily you know, change whatever. Um, if you get a new set of proxies, just paste them over on the other ones and then just save proxies and it'll all be saved for good. Um, you'll see under the tools menu, you also have your uh, CAPTCHA service accounts. Um, here you can add death by CAPTCHA, decapture, or bypass CAPTCHA accounts. Um, and they will all, you could add a few different accounts and just uh, have a check mark next to the uh, account that you want to use. Um, so it's all very, very simple and easy to use. Um, all right, in the next videos, we'll start going into the actual nodes and uh, going over what they, what they do. Okay, see you then.